Okay, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, update 1.19, this server is up and running and absolutely out of nowhere, absolutely out of blue. We are getting a new type of equipment called experimental equipment. My first reaction honestly was like, what? This is our fourth set of equipment, fourth guys. We have common AK standard equipment, we have bounty equipment, we have bond equipment AK improved equipment, and now experimental equipment as well. I was like, what? Why? Do we really need fourth set of equipment as well? Anyway, in today's video, because this uh, test server is up and running, um, I'm going to test it out or I'm going to show it to you and I try to explain everything about this experimental equipment to you as good as I can, as much as I understand at least uh, from the update 1.19 test server. Because over here we actually have three uh, new experimental equipment. So how to access it? Over here you can see there is the new experimental tab right over here and we have three different equipment units uh, with three different levels actually. But I'm going to show you the leveling up as well. I'm going to explain everything after I go over uh, what actually we have over here. So three different set of equipments, uh, fire control system, mobility improvement system and also survival improvement suit three experimental equipment units right over here. Long story short, those equipment units are basically equipment units which combine values from uh, different equipment units into one, but they do not give you that much value uh, as the other ones, dedicated ones. Like, you know, it doesn't uh, give you the aiming speed of the enhanced gun laying drive, it gives you some aiming speed, but something from another equipment unit as well on the side. There is a huge story of how it upgrades, uh, how it is going to, you know, work and, and all that. I'm going over it because, you know, this is why you're over here, but at first, Let's go over them, one by one. So, fire control system, ladies and gentlemen. Plus 9% to aiming speed, minus 11.5% to dispersion during vehicle movement and traverse, as well as during gun traverse and after firing. So, what do we have over here is uh, enhanced gun laying drive and something from, uh, uh, let's say, improved rotation mechanism as well, or stabilizer, right? Because individually, uh, the enhanced gun laying drive, for example, gives you uh, up to 11.5% to the aiming speed, or a bounty one gives you plus 12.5% to the engine uh, aiming speed, uh, if you if you simply aim at the aiming speed, but that one gave you plus 9, right, when fully upgraded, and also it gives you something from a stabilizer, like uh, dispersion during vehicle movement and traverse, uh, like over here, uh, dispersion during vehicle movement, uh, um, and traverse as well as during controversy and after firing. So actually, you know, more like improved rotation mechanism uh, type of uh, thingy, uh, value thingy over here. So not uh, that much, but the two equipment units combined, right? Some You lose a couple of percentages, but you gain something from two equipment units. Okay, so next up, mobility improvement system. This one is actually kind of nutty. And I'm going to put a picture I made for you on the screen as well, where every single turbo class is side by side comparing it to this one. As you can see, standard, bounty, improved compressors, you know, all those uh, turbos right over here give you only engine power, give you only top speed and reverse speed bonus. But this mobility improvement system also gives you plus 8% to turret traverse speed or gun traverse speed for vehicles with stationary cabins. So this is kind of a niche uh, thing right over here. But on the top of that, you will get plus 8% uh, to hull traverse speed. Very helpful. And uh, minus 8% uh, percent to dispersion during vehicle movement and traverse as well as during gun traverse and after firing. So this is so fitting for so many vehicles that is on the borderline okay playing without stabilizer playing without stabilizing the gun like super gong like uh, 54 m4 uh, is4 um, you know 
E5. Those type of vehicles right over here, ladies and gentlemen. You can simply slap turbo on it and do not have to worry about that anymore because you get some stabilization just to put you into a good level uh, with that, right? Plus also the mobility uh, upgrades. Yes, the top speed, 1 km per hour slower than the Bond Turbo or 2.5% your engine power less than with the Bond Turbo, but um, boo-hoo. Who cares about that if you get actually... Uh, you know, so many other bigger percentages uh, to other vehicle characteristics. Pretty naughty, in my opinion, guys. Survival Improvement Suit. The final one over here is basically improved hardening. Uh, that has uh, something like the main stats are from improved hardening, but it has something from the improved configuration as well. Uh, they simply switched out one um, stat over here, which was useless for most of the heavy tanks anyway. So um, this one gives you percentage to the vehicle hit points, 11.5% when fully uh, upgraded. It gives you plus 100% to internal module durability when fully upgraded, plus 70% to suspension dur uh, durability, plus 25% to suspension repair speed, and minus 50% to the loading speed penalty and loss of engine power upon to the damaging module. So if your engine is knocked out, if your ammo rack is damaged, the, the penalty uh, to your reload time or mobility is going to be 50% less, basically. So what they did over here is they replaced uh, the, um, let's uh, say, let's take the standard improved hardening, for example, they replaced that, that minus 65% to hull damage caused by suspension damage during impact, which for, let's be honest over here, for most of the tanks, what the, um, was using improved hardening was absolutely useless. They replaced it with one extremely good stat. What gives you plus 100% to internal module durability. Tanks with a very weak ammo racks or tanks with a very weak uh, fuel tanks are getting quite a nice buff over here. For example, like FE215B, uh, what you saw at the start as well, or tanks like 780. You know, it has burning fuel tank all the time, basically, right? But this helps it out so much you do not have to use up an equipment slot on 780 or on many other vehicles for improved configuration ladies and gentlemen because this basically fixes the issue for you because if we go uh, over here where is the improved configuration right over here this gives you plus 150 percent actually you know if it is in the correct slot to internal module durability but you also get it right over here plus you get you know the suspension durability you get suspension repair speed not as good as the bounty one you know those values are slightly lower than the bounty one you know percentage values not as fast as speed uh, repairing speed or uh, not as much durability but still i would say the internal module durability is just so much better than uh, what the uh, other stat uh, over here had the impact thingy for heavy tanks right so this is also very very big improvement i would say so now this is what the equipment units do over here. How to get them, how to upgrade those. Well, let's go um, Let's go talk about how to upgrade those things. So over here, I actually made one um, level 2 for you as well. So we have level 1, we have level 2, we have level 3. How to get uh, up to level 2? Well, you need to have 400 components. How to get components is you have to destroy the equipment units right over here. You will get two, uh, sorry, 100 components if you destroy level 1 right over here. So you need to destroy uh, four of them to get 400 components to get or to make one level 2. Uh, it costs you 400 and over here, if you want to actually destroy that, you know, you're not playing with this anymore. Uh, you can destroy that as well and you will get everything back, you know, all the components back and you can build uh, like uh, another level 2 like let's say you want level 2 survival uh, improvement suit and you can do that you know with the same cost but um, how much it does cost you to upgrade uh, this level 2 to level 3 you need 2000 extra so to upgrade this let's uh, let's go back to upgrade this to level 3 you need 2000 more so you need to destroy 20 level ones more or you know couple level twos five level twos uh, to upgrade one to level three so in total 
To get one equipment unit up to level 3, you need that one equipment to upgrade, then you need 24 more to destroy to get enough components together and voila, you have your first level 1. Now the biggest question is, right now this is my biggest question with uh, all of this over here, how hard it is to get it? And what we know so far is uh, it cannot be purchased, as you can see from the article. Experimental equipment combines stats from two or more sets already present in the game, as I told you before as well. It cannot be purchased. It will be a reward for various in-game activities and events, and we will notify you when it is available. We will provide enough opportunities to obtain a lot of experimental equipment over the course of the next year. We will start right now. Uh, pieces of e experimental equipment will be included into well-deserved rewards, which is coming in November as well, towards the end of the no uh, November usually. And they will also become a part of Holiday Ops and Battle Pass 2023 seasons. So, uh, you know, this straight out reward usually you know they give a bunch of rewards as a single go you simply have to log in during the time this is also i guess understandable they simply are going to put the rewards into the you know battle pass levels you know we have 50 levels uh, so far at least you know i don't know if they are going to change how it works next year or not but you get uh, some experimental equipment uh, from uh, different levels but this is quite a big question over here holiday ops they say it cannot be purchased, but Holiday Ops over here, I really, I really hope they are not going to boot those into loot boxes. If they are going to boot those into loot boxes, we have a big freaking problem. And this, this, you know, doesn't make sense. But because they say it cannot be purchased uh, right now, I believe it is just Holiday Ops, uh, part of the missions, uh, part of the atmosphere leveling. You know, you're able to get uh, the experimental equipment like that. But... Uh, looking at everything, I believe it takes a lot of time for us uh, to upgrade one equipment unit to level 3. Um, like, looking at everything, how it works, how much you need, like you need 20, basically you need 25 equipment units to get one equipment unit up to level 5. Because, you know, you need that one you are upgrading and you need um, 24 to dismantle. Uh, for level 2 you need 4 to dismantle uh, or to destroy to get components from and for level 3 you need 20 extra basically. I don't know if you're able to get uh, level 2s or, or only level 1s from different missions, it's, it's uh, only time will tell about that you know. Uh, but uh, here they explain the mechanics as well, the cost of team mounting for example, level 1 you can do it with uh, team mounting kit or uh, for uh, 10 gold like the standard equipment. Uh, uh, for team mounting level 2 you need 50 components actually and for uh, team mounting level 3 equipment you need 100 components. So basically you need to destroy one equipment unit to de uh, mount it from a vehicle. And also experimental equipment that combines bonuses of two types of equipment is suitable only for vehicles on which both of those types of equipments can be mounted. For example, experimental equipment with gun rammer bonus cannot be mounted on vehicles with auto loader or auto reloader guns. Uh, so uh, we can expect uh, to get uh, like some kind of experimental rammer. The, right now the rammer only gives you a bonus to the reload speed, but in the future maybe it uh, makes your gun more stable as well. And uh, one example I can show you in the game right away is uh, Krilla 15, for example, because this gives you the stabilizer bonus as well. It gives you aiming speed and stabilizer bonus, but you know, you cannot use stabilizing uh, on tank destroyers. Uh, you, you know, you cannot use... Um, Let's, let's uh, you know, put it over here, it's just a random, you can see you cannot use that one over here, or um, another tank destroyer, you cannot use uh, this um, aiming thingy on tank destroyers, because it has the stabilizer, and uh, they do not have stabilizer option, they only have this uh, improved rotation mechanism, which basically actually has uh, the same stat written over there. A lot of questions, how it is going to work out, uh, how much are we going to get, uh, vehicles like, uh, you know, 279 early, you do not have to carry the improved configuration anymore with this level 3, especially when we are talking about uh, 279e, you can slap this and you can slap turbo on it and you are good to go, or uh, vehicles with, you know, weak... Uh, 
uh, we cast tanks, the fuel tanks, uh, MRX, uh, uh, very good stabilization, you do not have to worry about the stabilizer anymore, just slap turbo on it, just slap the uh, survival improvement suit on it, and you are basically good to go, so... Experimental equipment, ladies and gentlemen, from the test server. What do you think about that yourself? Please let me know in the comment section down below. My my biggest uh, uh, question, uh, besides you know how much are we able to get it, is actually even bigger question is why. <laughs> like, why do we need fourth set of equipment? in this game. I mean, yes, it is cool, it gives you bonuses from different values, but... <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, what is your take on it? Do you want to see this in the game? How would you like to see this in the game? Let me know in the comment section down below. Comment section is your voice now. I hope you enjoy it. I get you next time with something else. If they are going to do any upgrades, if they add more equipment units to the death server, you can be sure I will uh, cover them over here on this channel. So stay tuned for that. Much love, stay awesome, stay beautiful, take care, and bye.